Hello everyone, this is Zebo and welcome to this AFK journey video. So for those of you guys who just chance upon this video because you're looking out for content for AFK journey, welcome to the channel. For those of you guys who have been supporting me ever since I started releasing content videos for AFK journey, I really appreciate it as well. So I'm Zebo. I've been playing AFK journey for quite a while, ever since about four or five months back in the Pioneer testing server and with AFK journey global server closely upon us, right? On the 27th of March. We're going to release a whole slew of content on the channel with regards to beginner's guide tier list like a bunch of advanced guides hero reviews as well as in-depth analysis with regards to the different aspects of the game so if you guys are interested in all those contents if you guys like what you guys see today do remember to drop a like and subscribe really appreciate it and with that let us begin today's video let's go hello everyone this is Ibo and welcome to this afk journey video so one of the most often asked questions in the comment section is actually a spending guide for light to meet spenders. Like I'm honestly very surprised by that because uh, I guess you guys must really enjoy the game to think about spending and then thinking about, you know, what's the value stuff that you want to buy like myself. Like uh, the, the reason why I spend in the game is because I really like AFK journey and I genuinely want to make myself better. So I do spend to help with my progression a bit. So I guess I can share a little bit of my uh, value spending, right? My thought process so you guys can use it as a reference for yourself. So without further ado, I'm going to go into the Mythic Collection first. I'll start with sharing what the VIP system is about, what you can get out of it. And um, you guys can actually have a reference to it. So for the VIP system itself, if we go into King's Glory, so we have the different VIP system. VIP 1, you get a longer AFK hours, VIP 2, longer AFK hours. Then you have paid AFK attempt plus one longer afk hours so on and so forth so as you guys can see the increase in vip levels actually gives you more resources right gives you more afk attempts which allows you to get more resources from there so the purpose of a vip system is to allow the spenders to have a slight edge in terms of resource and obviously if you guys are in a in a server with a lot of spenders they are naturally going to progress faster because of the additional amounts of resources they're going to get Right. And if they are spending, they're going to get better quality units faster. So obviously, you know, if you see people flying in the game while you are like crawling in the snail in terms of uh, progression, don't be too alarmed by that, right? They are probably spenders and they probably spend on the game and they bought the packs that they feel is really good for their progression. So that's for the VIP system, right? Next, I'll move on to the packs and what are the packs that I recommend you guys to purchase. Okay, so we are back on my official server account and um we, we have to go back to this account because uh, this account there's no purchases made so i have all the packs i can talk about what are the packs which are the most valuable right so um assuming the light spender and mid spender to have a certain budget i'll classify light spender as somebody with a 50 dollars thing budget per month or maybe a hundred dollars thing budget per month so that is light spender or maybe having a total budget of hundred sing dollars so if you have hundred sing dollars how should you spend on the secret travel log and then we'll talk about the mid spender part, right? Which, 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 which is for the later part of the video. So if you guys are free to play and you guys want to continue watching this video and be slightly salty about it, you guys can go ahead. But by no means, this is a make you salty video. It's just to let the people who plan to spend on the game know what things they are going to buy or what's the value they are getting into. So to start, right? All these values, they're sing dollars. So do the necessary conversion to your own currency. But I'm going to base the budget line of sing dollars, right? What I feel is the light and mid spender category. So secret travel lock, definite must buy 3000% value. So why is this pack so valuable? So you get two cosmetic items. Doesn't really matter. You get this uh, soul stone chest, which gives you a chance to choose from four units. And out of the four units, two units, they are really, really meta. So we have smoky and murky and we have torrent. So um they are really good units very very good long term so if you want them right you can just get them from this and just just choose them and get them early from the box itself so next one we have this uh souls uh soul stone a level soul stone 1200 copies so this one by the way it's from your battle pass so uh, there's a little bit of getting in terms of the levels because you can't get to the max level so fast but overall the resources you are, uh, the resources you will get from this pack is just massive insane so you get this uh, soul stone which is equivalent to i think it's 60 stones for one shot so uh to 120 for two so you're getting uh 20 shots here 
So if you don't have a lot of the A-level characters, you can actually get it because uh, the first copy of the unit is a unit, then subsequently the additional copies will convert to Sijus. So very good for hero collection, very good for additional Sijus for upgrading. And you also get 20 invite letter, epic invite letter by the way. So this is the more premium one, which gives you a higher S-level rarity uh, percentage. Really, really good. And the more important part I'll say is the one at the bottom, which is are the progression materials. So we have your essence, we have your EXP tomes, we have your acorns and your gold. So early to mid game EXP tome is really important. And then once you reach like a 70 plus East level, which is where I am right now, this hero essence thing will start to be scarce. And then as you progress through the game, I think gold will become scarcer, then EXP will become scarcer, so on and so forth. But the idea is that throughout the whole journey, you will need more resources, right? So more resources, stronger units, easier progression, simple as that. So uh, that's where you get a lot of them for free, or rather a lot of them from purchasing the pack, not for free. So that's for the Secret Traveler. Highly valuable, definite must purchase if you are an extremely light spender. So for the Legendary Secret Traveler, lock, honestly speaking, skip it if you, you don't have that much budget because Doubling the price to get 10 more summons, right, from the epic side sounds very attractive, but thinking about the other things which are, you're going to get, which is the cosmetic, it's not that valuable. However, if you have the budget for mid spenders, I think just getting everything is okay because uh, you kind of want to, you know, make your profile a little nicer as well sometimes. And if you have the money, why not, right? So that's for the Noble Tavern. Now we'll go into the trolley section. The second must purchase stuff is definitely the Gazettes. Classic and premium. So, uh, classic it's around seven sing dollars, right? Gazette, uh, premium gazette is around twenty two sing dollars. So a total of twenty nine on a monthly basis. So if you are somebody who's a light spender, I will assume that on a monthly basis you have like less than fifty dollars. Then getting these both should be pretty much the cap of your budget, right? Um, this one gives you gems which you can use to buy uh, more resources, right? From the AFK hourglass. You can buy all the summoning currencies from the shop or you can just use the gems to do summons so uh, 12,000 per month gives you roughly around 40 more summons so quite okay it is not like a massive pull session or anything but it's quite an optimal amount there then we have the premium gazette which gives you up to 70 epic invite letter okay this is massive because um obviously it's across 30 days right but by the end of the month having 70 invite letter this is going to give you a major power boost because the pd system for the invite letter itself if we take a look at the mythic house i right, go into the nova tavern we go into the epic the the guaranteed recruit is 30. so that pack alone right you're guaranteed two s level unit every month so if you're lucky you might even get early pt so maybe three or four from this uh gacha system and SL characters are some of the strongest character, so that pack is also highly valuable and definitely recommended if you are somebody who's low budget spender. So that's that. And if you have a little bit more budget, right? If you have beyond, like you're you're able to squeeze out a little bit more, growth bundle, right? Growth bundle is uh one of the highly, um, I'll say like the highly recommended ones as well because uh, for the price of forty five sing dollars you're getting all the premium resource currencies. So your epic invite letter, your normal invite letter, as well as 18,000 gems as you clear through the AFK stages. So there's this um, unlock along the way feeling. That's number one. Number two, these resources, they're just so good to allow you to progress faster and further. So that's why um, these three items, Aspirium Monthly, Growth Bundle, as well as the Secret Travel Lot, I'll say they are pretty much uh, must purchase for really light spenders. Right, so a total price, this is 45. This is about $29, right, on a monthly basis. And then the secret travel log is around $15. So that's less than 100. So that is within the light spender category. So, so that's that, right? If you guys are still watching and you're free to play, let's move on, okay? <laughs> okay, we're going to move on into the special offers. So um, welcome bundle, right? So welcome bundle. Um, this pack, I, I saw it on Reddit, like people are saying that why would anybody buy this pack for 100 USD? So for those of you guys who do not know Dragon Crystals, right? Uh, you can actually buy them from the, the purchase site, right? So for Sing Dollars, it's about 150 for 3000 Dragon Crystals, which is what I will use to gauge the pricing for the pack. So I'll put the SGD pricing on screen based on 3000 Dragon Crystals at 150 Sing Dollars. 
um buying dragon crystals gives you the material points right so this is where you get your uh, vip level increase to unlock all the resource boosts that you guys saw earlier in the video so buying Aspirin monthly also gives you the uh, material points which is uh used to uh, level up the vip points here so that's something that um, you guys might want to know if you're spending and then coming back into the welcome bundle i think in general if you have a budget of uh, maybe hundred dollars per month right um i don't think you can afford this because this is already hundreds plus sing dollars already but uh i think this is more so for the meat spenders so for meat spenders wise personally um you can buy everything in the welcome bundle i'll say skip the artifact bundle because um you actually get all this artifact for free anyway don't, don't bother okay so um if you have the money right for the meat okay so now it's the meat spender category so if you're a whale or a kraken you can buy everything in the shop go ahead but for the meat spender category if you're still looking for value skip the artifact bundle don't bother um they're expensive and you get the artifact eventually as you play through the game so don't need to buy them early doesn't it doesn't make it special like it's not like you have to buy it to get the the artifact so everybody gets it in the end so that's why I don't bother buying it um for the epic mola i think it's very worth it right you get acorns right 10 of it and then you get kruger very very good meta units for dream Realm for just 20 dragon crystal so uh, 20 dragon crystal is uh, roughly 150 sing dollars roughly around there right if you take a look at that so this is a really really small pack so it's slightly more expensive per dragon crystal but uh, if you are super light spender i think you you still have a little bit more budget then you can definitely buy this very very cheap one so 20 dragon crystal epic mauler bundle 2000 percent value i don't know whether or not it's really worth 2000 but uh, it's a good pack so next one newbie recruitment bundle as well as the the big select hero chest bundle so uh, people might ask who's gonna spend hundred dollars to buy this kind of pack i'll say people with the money people who wants to progress faster because this pack has some of the best value in the game in fact i think any pack that allows you to choose some of the most meta unit in the game is highly valuable and this is just part of marketing right people wants to buy something there's a demand for something and this is the demand this nova hero chairs over here being able to get torrent very very good being able to get smoky even better so depending on which unit you need you'll be able to buy this uh pack and then select the units you want and on top of that 70 epic invite letter so that's two guaranteed s level unit at least and you still get 10 more summons from 2700 diamonds so that's for the the growth path right this is uh this is roughly 120 sing dollar so around 100 usd so i saw people commenting on the reddit why would anybody buy this because do you have a chance to get one of the most powerful unit in the game and you have a chance to get more s level characters which will give you an edge over others if you have the money you buy it so that's something that i need to clarify next one we have the newbie recruitment bundle so for the newbie recruitment bundle in terms of sheer summoning value it, it is there because uh this is 50 summons in total although 20 summons of it is invite letter but invite letter gives you more a level characters so people okay people seem to misunderstand the fact that um a level characters are actually some of the strong characters in the game as well not all the op meta characters are in the s level faction in fact some of the most used late game characters they come out from the a level faction so if you're able to do more summon on the normal banner it's not exactly a bad thing because you just have a higher chance to get the a level characters and if you go into the pack itself i would say newbie recruitment is um in general i'll say less valuable than welcome bundle purely because in welcome you just get like to choose from two of the most meta units and you get a 70 epic invite letter but if you have a slightly smaller budget but you kind of want to get like more premium summons then newbie recruitment is okay as well but if let's say you have to choose between the two right and you can buy the bigger one then i'll say get this one instead so this is more valuable in my take and then we have the select hero for the elite side um out of this pool of units i'll say none of them are truly t0 characters they are not must haves good to have them but they're not must have and uh, yeah you do get i think yeah you do get three chests so you get three copies of them but uh, none of them are nah, are like really good for pv progression anyway so in terms of just normal story progression they're not as good 
and yes you do get 15 epic invite letter but um, for 500 crystals i will say 500 crystal costs around um this amount right so it's about i'll say 20 20 sing dollars for 20 sing dollars um uh, i'd rather you just buy your aspira monthly for this one the premium gazette portion so uh that's why i i don't i don't think this one is a must but if you can buy it why not but if not you can skip it right use the money for something better so out of this pack over here the ones which i will purchase the ones which i'll recommend people to purchase number one is this really expensive one but this is a really good pack because honestly speaking the thing about gacha is it's really highly random and if you really want to have an edge you want to have the most meta units then being able to choose them directly is definitely a plus so yeah this big pack uh, for meat spenders i'll recommend and then we have uh, newbie recruitment uh, if you have the budget to buy both buy both but if you have to choose between the better one if you have the money then the big one is slightly better so uh as for the rest um i'll say skippable artifact bundles you get artifacts from clearing the game eventually so there's no exclusivity and on top of that the summoning tickets you get they are not high value so later on there will be some limited bundles which i'll showcase as well so uh, you guys can refer to it for those guys who haven't unlocked it i'm not going to recommend anything there because those are of the higher spending category so with that let us move on to the limited bundle shop let's go okay so before i forget there's actually a few packs which are like pop-ups so i call these the pop-up packs so they will pop up on the left hand side I think when you first start the game, you actually get a free guaranteed epic pack, right? So 10 summons for about uh, one sing dollar, 150 sing dollar. I, I, if I remember correctly, it's quite cheap. So if you buy that, you're already eligible to get the first purchase reward, which is one Rowan as well as uh, some invite letters. So uh, I think the information is available on Printwin's website. So I'll link Printwin's uh, spending guide website for you guys. So those are the packs I can remember. And other than that, there's also this pop-up pack. So there's a 1,200% bundle. There's also the Ascension bundle. I think there's also the Supreme Plus bundle. So that's if you have a lot of Supreme Plus unit, then they'll unlock the packs for you. So personally, I'll say these are really whale categories. So I'm not going to speak too much. Um, stock up on your Dragon Crystals if you want to prepare for them. Just know that... Um, if you unlock a new unit, you actually get a character ascension bundle, which gives you the shots of the character. I, I don't think I have the bundle available on all the accounts, so I can't show you guys, but just know that it exists. New unit, you get the, the sigil shots and you get certain freebies there. So yeah, let's move on to the limited bundle for this account. Okay, so we are back and um, I'm going to showcase uh, some of the limited bundles which only unlock after you make enough purchases so i can't remember exactly how much purchase you will make but uh, before i continue talking i'm pretty sure some people are going to be salty i just have to say this right the goal of this video is to help those who want to spend in the game know what they're going into as a guide maker i feel that i'm obliged to just share my knowledge as to which pack to buy personally there are people that have the capability to purchase in game right if purchasing makes you feel better and it makes you healthier in your mental health i think it's a good investment personally so um if you can't purchase it i'll say take this video with a pinch of salt and for all gacha games it's gonna be like sort of pay to win to a certain extent so we can't avoid that but i'm just gonna offer the best guide for the spenders if you, they do want to jump in so we have the limited bundle we have the permanent bundle as well so these purchases please purchase responsibly uh, if you guys uh on the spend in the game right so this is just a disclaimer as always i'm no financial consultant but i got to say this so if you go into the limited bundle these are bundles which you get when um you make certain purchases i can't remember like exactly how much but there's a bi-weekly bundle there's also a weekly bundle so um not gonna talk about the values of this pack right for myself i personally uh, often buy the exclusive equipment bundle because uh, this one is more late game centric if i'm feeling generous if i have slightly more budget maybe the hero recruitment bundle so that's that but usually i don't buy the hero recruitment bundle and on top of that you do get free diamonds bundle right so this is a little bit of uh, uh payers advantage as well because there's 300 gems every two weeks then there's also a weekly bundle which gives a free diamond every week so this one i'll say uh yeah if you're able to I, I know people that are able to buy out everything in fact i know people that buys out everything every single week 
But if you're somebody who's limited, I'll say see which uh, resource you want and then um, spend accordingly. Right? I'm not going to advise anything on this one because uh, there's a lot of things to take note of. If you need your blue Tidal Essence, get it. If you need your yellow Tidal Essence, get it. Um, if you need more Hero Essence right, for your future upgrading of characters, get it as well. Uh, just spend responsibly based on your budget. So this is the weekly one right this is the bi-weekly one so just to let you guys uh, know what you guys will jump into if you do plan to spend in the game so this is that and then we have uh the permanent bundle so this one is always there they're pretty low in value i think if you can spend and your budget allows most of the time bi-weekly and weekly bundle they are pretty much uh, all the things you need already so um, permanent bundle i think it's really for the mega spenders like they're able to buy out everything that i talk about they're able to buy out special offers as well so there's this special offer over here i think this special offer is linked to the limited bundle yeah i think it's linked so i i don't know because here right this i couldn't buy this for a second time because uh, i already purchased it here so i think this one is linked to that so i i don't know why they're here but uh i guess if you buy this then this one will be grayed out as well, right? So I think some of the items are the same. So that's that. For the permanent bundle, they are seriously for the mega heavy spenders, those with thousand dollars of uh, thousands of budgets per month. I think this is a really um, like heavy site. I'm not gonna talk about it. Uh, uh, I won't buy it myself because uh, I personally think the values are not there and it's just way too expensive. So that's for the permanent bundle. And on top of that, you're able to buy cosmetics. So this one is not available on the free to play page if you haven't buy anything. You want unlock cosmetics so you can buy scarlet vow which is the skin for our dear morale over here really really hot so she's not a meta character but um if you just like a really good looking cosmetic i think this has a really good looking skin over here so i'm just gonna rotate and let you guys see the skin so this is for morale scarlet vow you also get the moonlit set so this one is for your character customization for those of you guys who are into cosmetics and there's a shape shifting scroll so this one is to change gender and appearance so if you want to switch from male to female, you need to buy one of these, etc, etc. So that's for the cosmetic portion. Yes, and I think that's pretty much it, right? You can also buy uh, gems with Dragon Crystal and the first purchase is double the amount. Uh, so far, I haven't bought it yet because I just think that the limited bundle packs, they are just way more valuable. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much it for this uh, spender guide, right? More so for the like to meet spenders. Heavy spender, yeah, you can... You can guide get up to this page as well if you are a kraken megalodon kind of level you can buy out everything and then buy permanent bundle right i'm pretty sure i know friends who are able to to buy everything and they they even spend on this page so that's that yeah that's it for this video thank you very much for tuning in hopefully this is helpful to answer all your spending questions and thank you very much for watching remember to like and subscribe to see more from the channel and i'll see you guys again in my next video bye guys